Yeah. There we go. Whatever it is, got it. Oh. Welcome back, guys. Another video. I know, three in just a couple of months. It's a, setting a bit of a record for myself here. Uh, right, today, something totally different again. We're canal fishing, something I haven't done pretty much all year. Um, but I've got the second of my Team England Street Lure Squad qualifiers tomorrow. Uh, so I'm up north from somewhere near Derby. And today I'm meeting up with Brad Hunt uh, and we're gonna have a little bit of a dangle this afternoon. It's been really hot all day. We should wait for that heat of the day, just settle down a bit. We're gonna have a few chucks, pike, perch, whatever comes along really. No, nothing really set in stone. Um, I don't know the area at all. We're just gonna see what happens. Let's go. Hello. Where you at? In the pub garden. Pub garden? Yeah. Alright, I'm going to find you. Yeah, just behind the, the, uh, the pub next to the trench. Alright, okay mate, I'll find you in a sec. Okay, so... I don't know how much you can see, but over there is the River Trent, which is currently closed because it's closed season. And just the other side of this lock is the canal, which is open. I have my own opinions on that, as I'm sure everyone else does. But uh, if I can fish, I can fish. So I'm going to fish. See how it goes. Okay, so. Oh, it's a lot of silverfish already. Um, so this is actually the same canal we're going to be fishing in tomorrow's comp, but not this stretch. It's going to be much further up. Uh, we didn't want to fish where we're going to be fishing tomorrow and potentially uh, catch fish that we might catch tomorrow uh, or ruin areas. So we're going to leave that bit alone up there, fish this bit that will be out of bounds tomorrow. And uh, I suppose it's sort of practice. It gives us an idea of what's happening and what they're eating. We'll get we'll get half an idea just in the wrong area. Okay. Let's start here. So what we're using is a Kitek Swing Impact Fat. Mounting on a 1.9 gram Elex Texas jig head, and I think we're going to fish it quite high in the water, um, but we'll vary and see what works. So it's cast. See what happens. Hmm. The lovely colour I've got on is a little bit too natural with a bit of, with the colour we've got in the water I might need something with a little bit of dark or a little bit of bright this is a bit too middle of the road I think it's going to be quite hard for them to see I'll give it a dozen casts or so and then I might switch But it's not great, maybe six to eight inches. Mm. See that? Something just smashed on the surface over there. Yeah, well, I hope it's a perch. It feels quite big. <laughs> it's got to be a pike. It's got to be, in it? Still ain't seen it. It doesn't feel like a pike, though. It just feels heavy. Yeah, it is a pike. It is a pike. Oh, don't do that. Get out from under there. So I 
Come on, mate, let's have a little look at it. Oh, Jesus Christ. There we go. Yeah, airborne. Lovely. Could do rooms tomorrow. There you go, fish number one. Not a bad little start for a little evening session. Um, really hit it hard and held deep. I sort of tripped me to think it was big perch for a little while, but happy with that one. Get it back and uh, keep going. That was just under the surface, that. N not letting it sink at all, just straight away retrieve. Keep moving. Okay, what we're trying to do is keep mobile, a few casts to swim, maybe three to five casts, and then move and keep look down and keep going until you find fish. Um, I'm sort of trying to leapfrog Brad a little bit. Uh, I don't really fancy all these pads, it looks good for fishing, but actual. Fishing practicality isn't fantastic because if you do hook a decent fish, you're going to struggle to get them back past it. So I'm going to go beyond them up to this corner up here and then cast back alongside them. So I'm fishing on the edge of them, which is where the fish will probably be patrolling anyway, and I'll be able to land them if I hook so. Let's see. Nice looking bridge up there as well, that'll get a, get a little look for the perch in a minute. Not one. What? Yeah. I've only been I've only been fishing for about fifteen minutes to be fair. <laughs> Thank you. I thought one was alright. What I'm doing is I'm varying up my retrieves. Sometimes I'm just giving it a straight retrieve, but keeping it quite high in the water. Um, sometimes you can sort of trigger a reaction by going over the top of them. Um, and then I'll vary it with the next cast, sort of giving it a turn or two on the reel handle, then let it drop a little bit. And very often you'll get hits on the drop. Um, both work. And like I say, that's why I'm varying them. And the other thing I'll do eventually is as it's made a little bit cooler and a little bit darker, I'll let the lure sink all the way to the bottom um, and then just bump it off the bottom. You know, one turn, let it fall down, one turn, let it fall down, that sort of thing. See if I can uh, trigger a fish that's sitting flat on the bottom or not. At the moment, that pike I had was on a straight retrieve just under the surface, so I'm going to sort of continue in the upper layers for the time being. I tell you what, I think this, is, this has got to be up there with the, one of the prettiest canals I've ever fished. I think the day helps. Well, yeah, yeah, the fact that it's lovely and bright and sunny helps definitely. Time of year as well helps. But the Ashby look really nice when it's when it's nice. And sunny. Yeah, yeah. The water's horrible. Yeah. Okay. Slight change of pace. We're going. Small, have a little look for perch under this bridge. Very shallow over there.
thinking the perch may be down the central track where it's a little bit deeper. So I'm sort of going to cast across and fish myself back, but linger in that centre of the canal a little bit longer. Uh, you know, long pauses and things, give them, give them a chance to find it. Oh, look at this, two arseholes and a load of baby arseholes. Future arseholes, arseholes in the making. They've obviously been getting fed somewhere because they think I'm, I've got food for them. How about this? There we go. This is another one. Oh yeah. Oh, this one, they're going to be pissed off. No, get away. Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Get away. Oh. Oh. Unbelievable. What do I say? Arseholes. <sighs> well, I've got a funny feeling this pipe can get absolutely smoked by these swans as soon as I let go, but let's have a go. Right. Go on, mate. Quick, before I get you. Yeah. Oh. Either decant them into something or try and squash them into your bag, right? And I always struggle, and that's like that's something I think is going to be a joke I struggle putting things in boxes. Oh, I really don't like it. I'd like, I like to keep things in packets. Yeah, I, I do as well, but I've had to do it just for space sake. Yeah. I'll tell you, this little Ilex bag, mate, is a game, a game changer. It's like a TARDIS. I've got so much in it. This bag, it's just, I've got so much in this bag that I need to throw it in. But, oh, oh. I feel like I could perch bite that. Um. The only thing about it being like a shoulder bag is it yeah. does my back in after yeah, a little while. Like the one thing I do like about shoulder bags is you can just twist them around and get to your stuff. Yeah. They just put all the weight on one side. And I find myself like standing like this most of the day anyway on one leg. So you're already leaning. Yeah. Well, there it is. Got it. <laughs> Watched it follow it up. One yeah. I had, about, I had about three or four bites, I think. Hey, come here. Well, there you go. Not the biggest, but it is a perch. And uh, that means I've had one of each. Or well, I've had two pike and one perch. Took a little Spro Hog 55 mil, one of my favourite canal baits. He's well pissed off, so I'm going to put him straight back. See you later, mate. Let's see if we can catch another one. Last cast. Okay, let's call it. Right guys, that is it. Short session, maybe two, three hours, but relatively successful. Two pike, one perch, uh, and a few lost bites. Um, but it set me up nicely for tomorrow. I sort of know how I'm going to approach it. Um, I think 
the fish are up in the water so i'm fishing very very light jig heads with shads seems to be the, the tactic that's working um and obviously this isn't the section we'll be fishing tomorrow but it's the same canal so the fish should roughly be in the same sort of mode um i wasn't planning on filming tomorrow but i might chuck the gopro on if i could be bothered um i might not but if i do there won't be a lot of talking um it might be at the end of this video depending on how much footage there is if not it'll be in a future video anyway if this is the end of this video thanks for watching and i'll see you next time cheers guys